Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel and for today's discussion, we are going to solve multi-step routine and non-routine word problems. Let's start our example with a routine problems. So this is an example of routine word problems. Bakit siya tinatawag na routine word problems? Because this problem has an immediate solution. Meron na agad siya solution. If I find out lang natin kung ano yung gagawin natin sa problem na ito. Kung ano yung operations na gagamitin natin. Okay, let's find out. The problem says, Anna bought four t-shirts and two pairs of pants for 3,000 pesos. If the t-shirt cost 300 each, find the cost of each pair of pants. So, in solving word problem, ang una natin ginagawa is we need to understand the problem. Paano nga ba natin iniintindi yung problem? Meaning, una, titingnan natin ano yung tanong, what is asked. Okay? So, from this one, what is asked, ang tanong sa problem na to ay, we need to find the cost of each pair of pants. Ang next naman na gagawin natin is we need to find out ano-ano yung mga given numbers. So, from this problem, what are the given numbers? So, meron tayong four t-shirts and two pairs of pants for 3,000 pesos. And then, yung cost down ng t-shirt ay 300 pesos each. Next is we need to plan. Ang ibig sabihin ng plan is anong operations ang gagamitin natin. Anong operations ang gagamitin natin para masob yung problem given yung tanong at yung mga given numbers. Okay. From this problem, tinatanong yung cost ng each pair of pants. Pero given yung 4 t-shirts, 2 pairs of pants, ang presyo daw noon ay 3,000. Pero given na yung presyo daw ng t-shirt ay 300 pesos each. So ang una nating gagawin is we need to multiply. Kailangan natin malaman muna yung total cost ng apat na t-shirt. Ang next na operation na gagamitin natin is we need to subtract. Okay? Kapag nakuha natin yung total cost ng apat na t-shirt, isusubtract natin yun sa kabuang presyo na binayaran. Okay? Para malaman natin kung magkano yung presyo ng two pairs of pants. Pag nalaman na natin, ang gagawin natin is, i-divide naman natin ito sa two para makuha natin kung magkano yung presyo ng isang pares ng pants. Okay, so yung operations na gagamitin natin is we need to multiply, to subtract, and we divide for us to solve the problem. Siyempre, yung next na gagawin natin is isosolve na natin yung problem. Okay, let's start. Multiplication, find the total cost of 4 t-shirts. Para malaman natin yung presyo ng apat na shirt, so 300 times 4. Kaya 300 times 4, the answer is 1,200. Meaning, yung presyo ng apat na t-shirt na binili ni Ana is 1,200 pesos. Okay? Ang next na gagawin natin, yung 1,200, yung presyo ng apat na t-shirts, ima-minus natin sa kabuang binayaran niya. Magkano ba yung kabuang binayaran ni Ana? That's 3,000 pesos. Okay, so yung 3,000 minus 1,200, ang sagot ay 1,800. Yung presyo naman ng 2 pair of pants ay 1,800. Ngayon, ang tanong kasi ay, magkano yung presyo ng each pair of pants? Kaya yung 1,800, i-divide natin sa 2. Kasi meron tayong dalawang pair ng pants. So therefore, ang sagot natin ay, 900 pesos. Ibig sabihin, yung presyo ng pair of pants is 900 pesos. Next is, syempre, we need to check and look back. I-check natin, tama ba yung sagot natin? Okay. So, kung yung apat na t-shirt is 1,200 plus yung two pair of pants, Kung isang pares ay 900, dalawang pares is 1,800. 1,200 plus 1,800, ang sagot ay 3,000 lahat. Ang binayaran ni Ana na kabuan is 3,000 pesos. So therefore, tama yung sagot natin na 900 pesos.